Hey guys, my name is Tiffany and welcome to episode 88 of Flea Market Video Game Hunting. So this is Sunday, Sunday, and Sunday. It sounds like I'm a kind of like a commercial saying Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. But yeah, I picked up one thing one Sunday, one thing another, and three things on the last Sunday. So I found this Mario Kart game and she wanted $2 for it. So I quickly picked it up and I did end up trading that into GameStop. So there's going to be two parts of the pickups because I wanted to show you guys before I traded it in so yeah and I traded this in as well I picked that up for three dollars three dollars can you believe that guys I just I can't believe that nobody picked it up I came a little late that Sunday and I found that so that was great and with this guy so this is the last Sunday these are the pickups for the last Sunday which is today that I went so I only ended up picking up the GTA PS1 game and my question is is this only one disc or is it more than one? I picked it up for two, but I don't really know. Like, I know some PS games have more than one disc, but I don't really know which ones those are. So I picked that up for two. I wanted to pick up Hunter the Reckoning, I believe it's called, but it was a bit scratched and I didn't really want to take a risk on it, even though it was just $2. But I don't really need to be buying like scratch games like that. I kind of want them to be less scratched than that. So I'm kind of holding back on that. And I found this born ultimate ultimatum i believe it's called uh steel book edition i wanted to pick it up but i ended up leaving it there so guys will you be buying anything for black friday i pretty much traded in those two things that i picked up in the beginning so i could have trade-in credit for gamestop and i believe playstation is having a sale right now for black friday so i'm going to be picking up persona 5 for ten dollars on that sale so this guy also had a ps2 and he wanted five dollars for it so as you guys can see the bottom is really bad and i was debating whether or not to get it because of that like i don't know or i didn't know at that time if it worked or not so i just i took a chance on it for five and yeah guys i'm gonna have to clean that up real good scrub it uh, get some goo gone hopefully that'll take it off but five dollars for that let me know if you guys would have picked it up i kind of wish he had a psp console because he had a psp game that wasn't the game that was inside that's why i left it there all right guys so in the comments down below write down if you think this ps2 will work or not hopefully it does so the last thing that i picked up was a gamecube game and that was mario golf which i have played i like golf games i do i wish i could play that uh, golf with friends game but i don't have a pc to play it unless they have it on console and i just don't know about it but yeah i picked that up for five i know it's a little bit expensive but five dollars for a mario game i decided why not pick it up so he wanted five dollars each i I just decided to pick up the Mario game because it was worth it for five. Hey guys, so I plugged in the PS2. I have not cleaned it yet, so that's from the uh, little Velcro that's on the bottom of the console. Anyways, I'm going to put in this game right here. So a viewer sent me this, so I'm going to put this in there. And it is pretty good. Uh, this is the disc that I had inside. And as you guys can see, the crack is right there. So I'm just going to use this one. And we're going to test it out and see if it works, guys. All right. That's a good sign. Okay. All right, guys, so for $5, I thought this was a great deal. So I'm not going to play. I'll just let this little intro play. But for $5, that was a great deal. And let me know if you would have taken a chance for it. But without further ado, guys, let's get into the pickups. Hey guys, hope you're all having a great day. So I want to show you guys the two things that I picked up and then in the future I'll show you the things that I pick up. So these are just two things and I'm going to trade them into GameStop. That's why I want to show you guys. So I don't want to trade them in and not show you guys. So let's start off with the first thing that I picked up which was the game. So I'm going to put the controller aside. So here is the game and I did clean the case and this is the game, so it is a bit scratched, but I am going to trade it in, like I said. I was going to keep it for myself, but I don't, I don't think, I'm, I'm not really sure, honestly, but can you see those little circle scratches on the side? 
yeah, I don't know if it's going to play or not, but uh, I'd rather trade it in, honestly. I was going to keep it, but I forgot about those circle scratches. I picked this up for $2, and I want to show you guys this. This is the last thing that I picked up for now, but I'm sure I will show you things that I pick up in the future. So these two things are for now, but I wanted to show you them because I didn't want to trade them in and not show you. So this was the last thing that I picked up, so future me will take it from here. Hey guys, so I just went to the flea market. What I recorded was from yesterday, Saturday, and I went to the flea market on Sunday today. So third time was kind of the charm because I picked up three items instead of one, which I usually pick up on Sunday. And I couldn't go this week on Wednesday because it's going to rain, supposedly. So I just decided to not go. And also because it's going to be Thanksgiving on Thursday, so... I'm probably not going to be able to find a lot of stuff or maybe vendors aren't going to go. Also, I don't know if it really is going to rain or it's not, but uh, just to be safe, I did end up going today and thankfully I found enough stuff to make a video for you guys because I know you guys love these videos and let's just move on to what I picked up. So what I want to show you guys is the game that was inside the PS2. So it has a crack right here, which you can't really see it but let me just flip it over for you guys and that is the crack right there so five dollars for that ps2 was a great deal that was inside the ps2 i kind of wish that game was not broken and this is the next game that i picked up he said two and he said five for the ps2 which was surprising so this is it it did have a bit of scratches here and there let me know if this is more than one disc because i did try to play this on the ps2 but it told me something i didn't even read it i was just pressing x but it wouldn't let me do anything uh, I think it said it was the wrong disc. So let me know if this is more than one disc because I don't really know. I know this is the top down GTA game, right? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of it, but I was just trying to play it. So the console itself, this is the back of it. It is all gunky and nasty. And I don't know why they put Velcros in the back. Also, it's missing a foot. This is, I'm probably gonna have to use some Goo Gone for this. I don't know if they stuck it onto the wall, if they stuck it on to their like dresser or something and you know how these things are very light and they move like when you take out the controls and stuff so i don't know if they stuck it on the wall or they stuck it on the dresser i don't i don't really know but why do this why do this anyways so this is the front of it i have not cleaned this because i want to get this video out for you guys this week so i'm gonna clean this after so yeah i'm sorry you couldn't see the after of it but yeah so this was five dollars and my question to you guys so if you had five dollars what would you buy at the flea market would you buy this ps2 for five or would you buy this game for five so this is the mario golf game for five dollars i already have mario golf so i'll probably trade one of these copies i'm not really sure though this is the standard edition i have the player's choice i believe it is not greatest hits greatest hits is i think is ps2 and then platinum hits is original xbox but this is it it didn't come with the manual it was just the game itself and the guy told me five dollars each for games i was looking at the star wars games about five dollars for that no 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 so i just decided to pick this up i wish he had like other mario games besides this but he only had this one and it has a blockbuster case which uh gee. every time i see these i'm like really i can't believe it's gone but Oh well, you gotta move on. Let me know what your favorite item was from this episode. Mine has got to be the PlayStation Move controller for $3. For $3, that was a steal. I hope that I keep finding them at those prices. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. If you want to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or Twitch, the links will be down below in the description. Happy hunting. Until next time, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Yeah, yeah.